everyone, it's Agnes Vivarelli and today we've got an email from Nisha. It's a viewer email that's got a question, so it goes like this. It's from Nisha. In my own experience, attracting my love back has been pretty easy. I've done it many times. The tricky part is being in a relationship with them again. That friend zone thing lingers. Can you do a YouTube with some tips and explanation on how we should be feeling, thinking, acting in the physical too? Maybe what we should be saying to ourselves. Like what do you do when they talk to us about other females or males and what is the best way for us to react? Do we tell them to not talk to us about it or just keep going for the ride knowing things will change? But you guys are like best friends and talk 24-7 and talk about anything and everything. But he still can't seem to see you as more than a friend. There are some of my own personal questions and again, I'm that part's not important. I just figured out it could help other people so maybe a video would be better. Let me know. Okay, Nisha. So let's start back at the beginning. I'm going to go through it step by step. So attracting my love back has been pretty easy. I've done it many times. The tricky part is being in a relationship with him again. That friend zone thing still lingers. Okay, so my question to you is, do you feel good enough? Do you feel deserving? Do you feel loved? Do you feel wanted? Do you feel secure? Because to be out of the friend zone, you need to be feeling those things, feeling attractive, feeling sexually attractive, physically attractive, beautiful, all those things has to be part of what you're radiating out, not just waiting around going, are they going to like me? Are they going to like me? Are they going to like me? Because that's still about you trying to get, you see. So think about, am I feeling radiant, beautiful, attractive, and especially not just I'm not talking physically again I'm talking emotionally attractive see people get attracted to people that are emotionally secure emotionally at peace emotionally contained emotionally just balanced that's what's attractive about a person you see and not that you're waiting on someone else to be doing something so you can feel those things again you have to be feeling it for them to then find you attractive in those ways. Always between you and you. Okay, so how should we be feeling, thinking, acting in the physical too? Well, you should be feeling loved, wanted, good enough, deserving, worthy, important, secure, and just beautiful if you're a woman, handsome, attractive if you're a man, yes physically but again it's an emotional confidence okay. So what should you be thinking? Well it's the same things again, feeling that you're loved, feeling that you're wanted, feeling that you're cherished, feeling that you're special, feeling that you're deserving and worthy and you move around with that. You're not looking for that from them, you are creating that for you okay. So Next part, how should you be acting? Natural, free, not walking around going, I'm waiting for them to do something so I can be, be okay, okay? It's not them that has to make you feel okay. It's not them that has to make you feel loved. It's not them that has to make you feel wanted. It's not them that has to make you feel good. It is you. Once you're there, everything you do is natural. Everything you do is confident. Everything you do just works because you're just in a good space, okay? So what we should be saying to ourselves, Nisha, it's always the same stuff. Everything I've just repeated before about what thoughts. It's always those good thoughts about you. It's always that. It's not how should I be so that they'll like me, okay? If you're starting to think that stuff, you've missed the mark, okay? So just check out between you and you what you're thinking. So, do we tell them or not to talk to us about it when they talk about other females? Look, I know this came up in the Q&A yesterday by you, so 
it is important that you don't anticipate this. When you go in to see this person, to hang out and to just be with them and to enjoy some time, don't be having those anxious thoughts of, oh, I wonder if they're going to be talking about other women. I'm wondering if I'm going to have to feel weird and uncomfortable and second best. If someone is talking about other women in front of you and you're attracted to them, that is your vibration of I'm second best and I'm not good enough bringing that to you. So as a thought, work on those things when you're not with them. That way when you do go to be with them, you don't incur those kind of conversations because you aren't in the state of being that attracts those kind of conversations, okay? If they do talk about it and you're still not strong enough, you can do one or two things like we talked about in the Q&A. You just go, hmm, okay, and you just let it slide past you. Yes, you probably feel uncomfortable, but you don't give it much resistance. When you go, why are you talking to me about this? Um, do I need to hear about that? I, I don't want to hear about this. You know, if you're doing it from that place of jealousy, feeling second best, that's your issue. You need to work on that, okay? So you can prepave it, which is about doing something about it before you get there. So you prepave it by we have a wonderful time. We have really good conversation. We talk about... Um, excuse me, things that we both like to talk about that make us feel good. So that would eliminate the conversations about other women in that case. Or if you're a man, about your woman talking about other men. So you start to, before you go in, you prepave it. You make it the way you want it to be. You you clean up your energy within yourself before you get there. Prepaving is much easier than revision. Revision is correcting things that didn't go well. Prepaving is avoiding things going wrong and getting your energy right so those things don't happen to you, okay? So let me see what else you've said here. He still can't seem to see you as more than a friend. So you got to correct what you're thinking and feeling about him. He only sees me as a friend. I'm never going to be the girlfriend. Why can't he see me the way I want him to see me? I'm not good enough. What is it about me that I'm not good enough? What do I need to change so that I am good enough? So you have all these thoughts that don't support having a wonderful, loving relationship with someone, okay? you got to be doing these kind of thoughts. I love how we connect. Our relationship gets better and better. I love how we flirt a little bit. I love how I feel the chemistry between us. I love how I can feel his attraction to me. I feel beautiful and therefore he's attracted to me. I feel handsome, therefore he's attracted to me. I know that I've got that X factor. <laughs> you know, whatever you want to talk about to yourself to get your confidence, okay? Remember, sexual attraction and chemistry comes from often emotional attraction. See, especially, and I'm going to say this to the women and the men, when you're emotionally wanting to connect and talk and talk about us and where is this going and that's all desperation and neediness and unattractive most of the time. If you're having a conversation like, hey, I really like you, Whereas this heading and you're coming from a confident place, that's fine. But most of the time, and I know this from those of you that I coach, email coaching and face-to-face, -face, that that often isn't the case. So it's learning to correct our energy, our emotional stuff that we put onto other people and then they go, oh, I don't really want to be around that because they're looking to me for reassurance. They're looking to me to become loved, to feel loved, Okay. So, hope that helps. You can also look at the Ho'oponopono to dissolve the part of you that created this and have a look at your beliefs. There's a beliefs playlist, which I've mentioned already this week. For those of you that haven't seen it, I will put it down in the description of this YouTube and I will put the Ho'oponopono in the 
description of this YouTube and also I will do a YouTube separate YouTube about prepaving because it's something that we haven't covered and it's something that saves you a lot of work later okay lining up your energy before you start your day and go out and see people it, it's good for when you have a meeting when you have an interview when you have to go and meet the bank manager when you need to go and get a loan when you anytime you're going to meet somebody and you can feel that then you line it up beforehand and it levels it out smooths it out it bring, doesn't bring all that emotional stuff into that meeting into that get together for coffee with your specific person or whatever okay so good question and glad you asked it I think it will help a lot of people because I do see some of you have got your specific person or your ex or you're a new person and you are going to meet them but you've got anxiety or fears or you throw yourself into chaos mentally because of what you're thinking so do a little bit of pre-paving okay and I will do a YouTube separately about that shortly lots of love Thank mm -hmm. you.